Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana, and today let's take a look at how to install Git on Windows. So let's get started and now let's open Google Chrome. First of all, let me verify if I have Git on my system or not. So you just need to type, let me just make it larger, you just have to type Git. And as you can see, Git is currently not recognized as a command. So let's navigate to Git Hub. Com. So first of all you need to download the software. You can sign up for a new account and it's actually beneficial to have a Git account if you are a developer or just learning coding for any measure even for interviews or anything like that because one of the most sought questions in interviews is do you know version management systems or not. Git is a versioning software. It manages the changes and it also documents those changes. So let's create an account. You just need to type in your username and email address and password of your choice. So currently it's already saying that username this one is not available because I've already created an account. After creating an account, you can download GitHub for Windows via just searching GitHub for Windows. And the direct URL is desktop.github.com. And you can download it. It's a 64-bit version. From here, you can also download it for Mac OS as well. So let's click on the Windows button. And it's currently being downloaded. It is 88 MB. So I'm going to escape ahead and Okay, so as you can see, the download is complete. All right, so let's click on show in folder so that you can know where it actually went. So it's in my downloads folder. And now let's click on this GitHub desktop setup. All right, so currently GitHub desktop is being installed. It did not ask me any location or whatever because by default, it is going to be in C drive. All right, so now you can sign in to github.com if you have already created an account or you can click on this create your free account. It will again open the same window in Google Chrome as we have previously seen this window. So it will open this window and then you can create your account. Since I already have that account, let's just sign in to GitHub and it's going to open the same. It needs it to connect it for the first time. It will save the authentication information. So I'm just going to log into my account. All right, so it is currently authenticating our GitHub desktop and the online version. So I'm just going to authorize my desktop. Now you can open GitHub desktop directly from this alert message. You can close this tab if you want. Okay, so Whenever you commit uh, any change in your code and then push those changes to the master branch or sub branches, it will also attach your name and your email address. So you can type in any email address here for recognition. I'm just going to type my official mail here and the name can be Kansonak here. So let's continue with this. All right. You can submit these usage stats or not. I'm just going to deselect it and finish it. All right, so this is the GUI version of GitHub, okay? That's just one way to install Git on your system. 